name is Brianna Macias and I'm taking a little break from drum covers to talk about my most anticipated television event of this year, of this decade, of my life, the Scooby-Doo Supernatural crossover, Scooby Natural. Since I heard about this last year, I at first thought it was a joke, but then they started releasing images and it got real and then now it aired. It's on. You can watch it now and I just did and it was pretty great. I was smiling the whole time they were in the Scooby-Doo world. It made me so nostalgic. I used to love Scooby-Doo. I grew up watching Scooby-Doo. My whole room was Scooby-Doo. How many times did I say Scooby-Doo right now? So many and I'm going to say it so much more. And then as I got a little older, I started watching Supernatural. Since day one, I remember watching the pilot when I was 12 years old. And I'm 24 years old now, so half of my life, Supernatural has been a part of it. And the time before that was all Scooby-Doo. So this was the perfect crossover that I could have asked for. Sam and Dean just defeated a stuffed animal dinosaur, and as a reward, they got to take home a TV from this shop. This TV is the reason why Sam and Dean went into the Scooby-Doo world. I won't get into too heavy of spoilers, but I just want to say, everything in the Scooby-Doo world was perfect to me. The whole time, Dean was acting like a fanboy, and anyone who loves Scooby-Doo was feeling the same way. My dad also grew up loving Scooby-Doo, so the whole time we were smiling from ear to ear. It was like a new episode of Scooby-Doo that we'd all been waiting for that was a little more adult. You know, we've all grown up watching Scooby-Doo, and now that we're a little older, we can handle a little bit darker themes, a little bit riskier humor. There's a moment in the episode when things get real, and in the Scooby-Doo world, someone's actually murdered. All the characters are saying their wholesome catchphrases like zoinks, jinkies, Row! and then there's Dean. And if you watch Supernatural, you know his catchphrase. The whole episode played with old Scooby-Doo tropes like the gang splitting up or running through hallways with the Scooby-Doo theme music, Fred coming up with a plan that fails. All of it was there. And then we got to see all the Supernatural tropes too. Like when a ghost comes in, the lights flicker, you could see their breath. Dean's car was there, Baby was there, and it had all of their weapons in it, which they got to use in Scooby-Doo. That's pretty awesome. Fred usually just sets up traps, but when Sam and Dean come into town, they're using weapons. Castiel also shows up and is hanging with Scooby and Shaggy most of the time. We get to see Dean hanging with Fred and Daphne, who he continuously flirts with the whole episode. And then we get to see Velma and Sam. And there's a little bit of unexpected flirting in that group going on too. Let's just say Velma has a thing for tall dudes with broad shoulders. The episode played out just how you'd hope as a perfect combination of Scooby-Doo and Supernatural. It had the cheesiness and fun of Scooby-Doo with the horror and humor of Supernatural. And it was a perfect combination of the two. It felt like a slightly more adult Scooby-Doo. This is proof that you can do Scooby-Doo for the modern day. And honestly, I'm so down for a reboot of this. If I had to give this episode a grade, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. The reason it's not a 10 out of 10 is because there were some moments of humor that felt forced and Dean flirting with Daphne too much got a little tiring and it got a little creepy, honestly. It was also a little paint by the numbers because it followed the usual supernatural episode formula, the monster of the week style episode, which you know is fun if it's done well, which this episode was definitely done well. So that's why I give it an 8 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10. But it's going to be probably one of my favorite episodes that I'm going to keep revisiting. I'm keeping it on that DVR and I'm going to watch it whenever I need a little dose of Scooby-Doo and Supernatural in my life. So. Please, if you haven't watched it yet, watch the Scooby Natural episode. If you like this review, I might be doing more of these, so please subscribe to this channel and like this video if you liked it. And if you like drum covers, I do a lot of those on here and more will be coming very soon. And now I will leave you with a very bad Scooby-Doo impression. Like Scoob! Raggy! Ree! Rings for watching! Rub Raggy! That was bad. Oh well.